Today's video is sponsored by KEH. All right, so what is the goddamn deal, YouTube? It is, of course, your boy, Volandis, back with another video. And in today's video, we're yet again shooting with some expired film. As y'all know, my stance on expired film still stands from what it was, and that is that it's one of those things that film photographers hype up that I personally don't think that uh, deserves the hype that's surrounding expired film. Because for me, as a photographer, I like to know what I'm getting. I like to know what I'm shooting, what it's going to look like in this lighting, in that lighting, underexposed, overexposed. I like to know exactly what I'm going to get. I'm already taking a risk with shooting film in the first place. Why risk it even more? by shooting uh, expired film. Now you really don't know what you're gonna get. Some people are into that, some people love that, and that's on them, and that's them. They can they can have that. If you love that, more power to you. That's more expired film for you because I'm not going to, to buy it. But I did run across some of this expired film, so I thought I'd um, try it out again and see maybe if my stance or opinions change, and just to shoot with something a little bit different. I never shot with the Fuji Color Reala, so it's gonna be cool. And um, yeah, I'm just kind of excited to really shoot with this one the most, but we'll see. We'll get out there, we'll see. It expired in, uh, let's see, 2000. This, this also expired in 2000. Um, this, which I probably won't shoot, but it expired in 1968, which, you know, is a long time ago. So, but anyway, man, I don't wanna, you know, talk too much. I kinda just wanna get out here and start shooting. So yeah, let's just get straight into that there. So right now I'm um, personally recording these videos again by myself because Ma, she, for some reason, Ma feel like she can have a life and not record the videos. <laughs> I'm joking, but um, right now we're in this trailer park. It is not on eight mile, we're on like nine mile. I'm here with Amalia, if you guys can see her. Um, we're shooting some of this expired film. I had a roll of portrait 400 in there, so I just shot through that real quick. But right now we're about to load up uh, the Fuji film. Riala, I think that's how you pronounce it. And then, uh, yeah, just kind of see what that's looking like. I'm sweating because it's hot, clearly. I'm here recording myself, so bear with me. And we're like in this trailer park. It's a lot of, you know, people walking around, but not that weird, honestly. This man just walked in his house right here. He didn't say nothing, so it's not that bad. Yeah, let's just do this real quick. This film expired in 2000. I don't know. I think the colors just might be like kind of, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We're in a trailer park. You got on a cool little outfit. <laughs> so, yeah, should be all right. So, um, location number two, which is this uh, tennis court. I'm not really sure this fit goes with the tennis court, but um, okay. it's all good. Yeah, but I got some expired Kodak Gold since we're on the theme of expired film. Some expired Kodak Gold, as y'all know, the best film in the world. I have no idea what year this, uh, this film expired in because it didn't come in a box. It literally just came like in this canister doesn't have any information on it um, about the year it was produced so we're gonna take our best guess we're gonna shoot with it in the Leica M6 clearly and yeah bro take a few shots here I might get a few shots later 
because clearly I'm not going to shoot all 36 shots here, but um, yeah, excited to try this out, excited to, you know, finally get them old Kodak gold colors, you feel me? But it could be all fucked up, honestly. It could be all ruined because I have no idea what year it expired. I could underexpose it, overexpose it. I have no idea. But we're going to um, at least take our chances. So that's what we're on. Are you ready? <laughs> All right, so it's the uh, next day from yesterday. Um, still got a little bit of film left in this uh, roll, so uh, just wanted to walk around and kind of finish it, get a little bit of different, a uh, little different vibe of what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're doing right now. Um, we're in Detroit, somewhere in Detroit. Anyway, just gonna walk around, shoot the rest of this. Sorry, I'm not a. Sorry, it's not a drip fest for y'all lately. It's been really hot, so I ain't been, you know, you know, putting that shit on putting my swag on but um yeah the show must go on though i didn't hop out the bed turn my swag on today <laughs> but um low-key it's like we're taking pictures of like some abandoned houses and just like this area but it's it's interesting over here you know what i'm saying also still i don't i have no idea like what um i'm supposed to be shooting this film at since like i don't know what year it expired so i'm just shooting it like probably as overexposed as I can overexpose it. So that's where we are with this. I don't know who Big Dave is, but he's a somebody around here, according to that uh, spray paint over there. Big Dave is him. Him, him. Like, for a hood court, like, this is, like, nice, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not too many cracks or, like, unlevel ground, like, in the, like, center of the court, you know what I'm saying? You come over here a little bit, then you, you're in some trouble, but from, like, here to here, this is, like, you know? pretty good this is a nice court for like <laughs> as far as like hood standards go like I would, I would love to have played on this court as a kid but anyway that was that was low-key the last shot so i um, gonna take this uh to the you know post office right now send it out to fw photo lab so they can scan and process it is it cliche to take pictures of a basketball court maybe where y'all live not in detroit though yeah or i would have been in for a, a rude awakening like last time when i forgot to rewind it but anyway that's going to wrap it up for now we're gonna uh you know wait for the photos to come back get back home and talk about it so i really do hope this uh gold turn are you kidding me is it actually bro it's a reflection i didn't get the reflection shot am i actually a photographer bro like Oh, oh, I dropped the ball, bro. I'm sorry, y'all. I know. I'm sorry, y'all. Next time. Sheesh, I'll let y'all down. As a film photographer, I'll let everybody down. That sucks. All right, next time.
All right, so now we are back at the crib. I know it looks a little dark, but it is getting ready to storm out here in Detroit yet again for like the 40th time this summer. So um, this is becoming the new normal for Detroit. Um, raining like crazy every single day in the summertime, like it's Florida, but the show must go on. All right, but anyway, we're here to talk about the expired film and just my thoughts on expired film. To be honest, I don't have a really drawn out long five minute kind of response or um, anything to say about expired film. I still kind of feel the same exact way as I've always felt about it. I much rather just in my personal for my personal photography, I much rather use um, film that isn't expired because I know what it's going to look like. I know um the capabilities of it in certain lighting conditions and things of that nature as for the kodak gold i had no idea when it expired so um i was just out there shooting um any exposure that i kind of felt would maybe be right um just considering when it last um when they stopped making it and like when people you know stopped uh using it so some of the exposures came out great some of them came out not so great so um it is what it is that is just film photography i'm happy that i did it i do wish that i knew the year it expired so i could uh, have exposed it properly in my head but hey man that's that's the game that we play so i played it as for the fuji Riala, i do very much like that film um i first seen linus use that film when i met him for the first time in new york and the colors from when he shot with it was great so um i was that's was kind of what i was expecting from this go around and they was exactly what, what i expected um pretty good film if i'm being honest i don't like the fact that it's expired but otherwise it's you know a decent film stock and you know i like it also did shoot some other expired film with my homie Tori in front of uh, his house not too long ago. I forgot the name of it, but as I'm talking right now, I put, you know, behind the scene videos and things of that nature and the photos that I took with it on the screen. And that film is also just, you know, expired film. And, you know, with expired film comes a lot of just like um, imperfections that, which I very much like about film. I love the imperfections that film brings. I don't know, man. I got my my um opinions about expired film. I wouldn't say that like I hate it or anything or that like it's not usable. I just think it's overhyped in my opinion. Like I don't I don't think like if people want to use expired film then like use it, but um just, you know, sometimes it be too much, you feel me? For me at least in my opinion. That's just my opinion. My opinion is not, you know, it doesn't mean anything. So just remember that. I don't really have too much to say about, you know, anything except that I do very much enjoy the photos that I took of Amalia. They are, you know, some of my, you know, more recent favorite photos that I've taken of someone. So, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying what I did. So that's that's a plus, at least. But before we go on, let's just thank the sponsor of this video, which is KEH Camera. Now, y'all know me and I know y'all. And before you pay full ticket price for a camera or lens, you're on the internet and you're looking for that camera or lens at a cheaper price. Now, KEH Camera is the best place to buy and sell used camera gear. They have a 180-day warranty, a 14-day return policy, and free shipping on orders $49 and up which most places that sell used gear doesn't offer any of these things. Depending on what you're buying, you may come across some cosmetic blemishes on the camera gear, but that doesn't at all affect the quality of image out of any of the camera gear that you may buy. KH Camera is very clear about the quality of the gear that they're selling. Like I've mentioned before, I've been using KH well before they were a sponsor of this channel just because to me, they're the most trustworthy place to buy and sell used gear. So if you're looking to buy or sell used gear, please use the codes in the link of my description. I personally love working with KH because they've been a big supporter of the channel and me as an artist overall. So, and thank you KEH Camera for yet again sponsoring in this video i love you guys but all right man that's probably going to wrap it up for me i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys got something out of it if you are not already subscribed to the channel please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you are already subscribed i'm not talking to you because you already did what you had to do and you're on top of everything so let's get out of here man let's go do some shit let's get it you know the vibes